Hello again. Today I'm going to demonstrate a simple App Inventor project which uses the azimuth property of the orientation sensor to create a simple digital compass. It uses App Inventor's orientation sensor azimuth property and that displays the current compass heading. The heading returned by the property is the same reading any physical compass would display. When a standard magnetic compass is pointed to the north, the reading is called magnetic north. Magnetic north is where the magnetic lines of flux that pass through the earth due to its iron core enter the earth vertically. This location varies over time and so do the lines of flux that align the compass's arrow at any given location on the Earth's surface. By contrast, true north is the fixed point on the Earth located at its geographic north pole. Digital compasses may be able to compensate for the difference in magnetic north readings and true north by the design of their software. In order to keep this project simple, we will be using the magnetic heading values returned by the azimuth property block without adjusting for true north. In a later project we may introduce additional features to allow this digital compass to point to true north. Let's look at the screen designer. In the screen designer a canvas contains two image sprites compass pointer ISP is represented by the red diamond and it's fixed in position and always facing the top of the device. Compass face ISP is a rotating dial which contains direction pointers and degree measurements. It can rotate based on its current heading value. Let's look at the box editor. In the blocks editor, the azimuth property of the orientation sensor doesn't typically remain constant, so several readings have to be taken then averaged to keep the display value from changing too frequently or the compass needle from swinging too widely. A good number of samples was determined to be 50 in my experiments. This value is stored in max samples, the global variable. Samples index is the counter variable used to count how many azimuth values have been stored. And sample sum contains the sum of the azimuth values collected for the 50 samples. I use a clock timer which is set to zero interval to get the most frequent readings for up to 50 readings and that value is stored in this way. When the 50 azimuth samples are stored in sample sum, it's divided by max samples and stored in average heading and average heading uses the floor math block to ensure that the range of degrees or heading values returned is in the range from 0 up to but not including 360. Average headings displayed on the screen uh, the device's title bar and also that compass face ISP heading is changed to that value. So that's what rotates that dial that you saw in the uh, video. So the gist of what's happening here is that every clock cycle it's determined whether we've reached the maximum number of samples which starts at, at zero and goes up to 50. So if it hasn't reached 50, 
it keeps adding the azimuth value to the sample sum and in incrementing the sample's index. Once it does reach 50, it does the average, then displays the results. So that's really all there is to this, this project. Uh, later on, we may add the ability to determine the declination, which is the adjustment angle between magnetic north and true north and have some blocks that compensate for that to show true north on the compass reading. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching and as always, happy inventoring.